Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how I upgraded to Windows 10 from a Windows 7 computer, the problems I had and how I overcome these problems. If you recognise this code here, this error code, you've probably been pulling your hair out trying to work out what to do. Now a couple of months ago I tried to upgrade to Windows 10 and it would go through the whole process and you would think it was about to work and the Windows, when it rebooted, the Windows thing was just wearing around and wearing around and it would stay hung up on that page for over an hour and then this annoying error message would come up and then it would revert back to Windows 7. This is running Windows 7 Pro and it's a Toshiba Satellite Pro. So. I read up on the internet and a few people said to disconnect to uh, uninstall the network adapter because that's what's causing the problem. So I normally use a wired ethernet connection. So what I did is I uh, uninstalled the network adapter and then I downloaded Windows 10 via the, uh, via the Wi-Fi. So this is my network adapter on this computer. And when I did it this time, it did actually work. I, I got Windows 10 installed, it went through fine, didn't actually take that long, within about 45 minutes it was all installed. And uh, the problem what I had then is it wouldn't connect to the internet. It was, sh it was showing the network adapters, but uh, it was like they weren't live, they weren't working. So basically on my little Wi-Fi sig uh, symbol down here, I had a, a, a red X and uh, it didn't matter if I plugged an ethernet cable in, nothing worked at all. So I'm just going to go through the process in this video about what I did and hopefully it will cure your problem as well. So first of all we have to go to device manager. So if you go down to the Windows icon down here and just in this little search bar here type in device manager and just go click on device manager here left click. Now this will bring up your device manager and what you need to do is you need to look for network adapters which is here, left click there, double click and you'll see Realtek PCIe FE Family Controller. So click on that and you need to go to driver here yeah, and you need to go down to uninstall it will just ask you to confirm that. Also delete the driver software for this device. So put a tick in that checkbox. Go to OK. And it will just uninstall. And now if you go back to your network adapters, you will see that it's no longer there. The Realtek PCE is no longer there. OK, so now once you've done that, you now want to try installing Windows 10 again. But this time you're going to have to do it via the Wi-Fi because obviously you're, uh, you've just disconnected your, where your LAN cable, where your Ethernet cable goes. So I'm going to uh, install it now over the, uh, over the Wi-Fi and then we'll see what happens after it's installed. Okay, so just Google Windows 10 and then go onto the website and click Get Windows 10. Okay, and it gives you the option to upgrade now. You click that and you have to go down to run. Okay, and we'll just let that wear away for a while. Right, we'll just say downloading Windows 10 and it will just have the progress there going up up in the percentage. Now it's creating Windows 10 media and again it's counting up to 100. Now it's preparing. Now it's getting updates. Now you have to accept the license terms. Making sure you're ready to install. Right, this one says ready to install. You won't be able to use your PC while window installs. Save and close your files before you begin and uh, you can choose to install Windows 10 Pro and keep your personal files and apps but I am going to, because I want to keep the files but I don't want to keep all the apps so I'm just going to put keep personal files only but they're the options you've got so I'm just going to do keep personal files your settings and apps will be deleted but your files will be kept and you go down to next and away it was again 
Okay, so now we're on this screen here, the computer just rebooted itself. And now it's got to go through this process here. Copying files, sorting features and drivers, configuring settings. It takes quite a while. Still wearing away. Okay now, so it's uh, downloaded. Go to next. It's up to you what settings you want to do. Okay, it'd be the same password. Now it takes a long time, the very first time that you uh, connect onto Windows 10. You will keep scrolling through different pages like this, but this is only for the first time when you've just installed it. After that it's nice and quick. Right, so Windows 10 has loaded up fine, but if you have a look here, I've got an X, meaning no connection. So you might, you might have a wireless symbol with no connection, but uh, so what you need to do is, you need to go down to the Windows Start, and right click, not left click, right click. And that will bring up this menu here. And you go to Device Manager. And you need to go to Network Adapters. Now, on my Network Adapters, can you see there's a little warning? There's a little warning triangle by them. So, although they're there, they're not working properly. So, what I need to do is, I'm going to go into the wireless one to begin with, but I will need to do it with the real tech below as well. So, uh, click on it, and it's saying this device is not working properly because Windows cannot load the drivers required for this device. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uninstall it, so I'm going to go up to driver, left click, and I'm going to go down to uninstall, uninstall, and I'm going to also delete the driver software for this device, do that checkbox. And go to OK. It's uninstalling the device, and now, as you can see on the network adapters, it's not there anymore. And I'm going to go up to Action, up at the top here, Action, left click, and I'm going to go Scan for Hardware Changes. Now, if I go to Network Adapters, can you see now it's come up? and it hasn't got the triangle anymore. Can you see that? Triangle's gone. And if you look down here now, you can see that it's not connecting, but connections are available. So what you'll then have to do is, you'll then have to click on it, and you'll have to re-input your password again from your router. But that's it, so it's a nice easy, nice easy fix. And again, with the, you'll have to do it to your, your Ethernet connection as well. So just click on that. Again, it says exactly the same thing. You go to driver, go down to uninstall. Warning you're about to uninstall this device from your system. Click OK. OK, so now that's gone. Now you go up to action. Can you see there? It's not under network adapters. Now you go up to, so I'm trying to do this one handed on my wrong hand as well. Right, you go to uh, action. Scan for hardware changes, left click, and there you go, Realtek family controller has come on now. Right, so I've punched in my password, as you can see, it's now connected, and I'm now on Google. So I hope you found it useful, I was pulling my hair out at this, so that's why I've done the video, because I'm sure it must be happening to other people out there as well. Looking at the forums, there does seem to be quite a few people on there saying that they've got the same problem. So I hope you found the very video useful. Uh, hopefully, if you have the same problem as me, it will help you out. Okay, take care, thank you.